Can't land there, though. Krillin? A lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Okay. Can't even scan that. What's this one called? Thessalagon. Thessalagon. A standard hydrogen helium gas giant. It's got methane in it. Yunthor. You can survey this one. Medallion recovered. Your scan uncovered an ancient deep space probe. Tally bought it on board, dismantled it, and found a league of one medallion. A league of one. Okay. So, is that win? Level one cold ha hazard. It won't let us land on like any of these worlds. Okay, but well, it won't let us land on any of those worlds. So we can always go to Pax Novaria. Man. That looked pretty cool. The Sparog. What's this? Velas. Then atmosphere of Xenon and Krypton again. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of the planet Velas revealed a small abandoned vessel. Your salvage team bought the ship on board and dismantled it. Whereupon they discovered one of Matriarch Delinaga's writings. Okay. And there was info of the Krogan Rebellions on there too. Morana. It's an icy planetoid smaller than Earth's moon. Can't scan it. Not bothered. Svarog. Svarog's a small but typical hydrogen and helium gas giant. Can it be a small gas giant? Surely that's an oxymoron, being a small giant. Okay, well let's go to Novaria then. I thought it said we could do something in the other um, sector we were in, but it's just, we can land here. It's a small frozen terrestrial world, barely inhabitable, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Novaria Development Corporation, whose lease, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be formed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, why can't I read today? Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Just like Earth, the tinfoil hat brigade are going to be on here. Colony, its population is not bad, pretty small. Orbital period is nearly the same as Earth. Alright. Whoa, minus one Celsius, that's cold man. Can't we land on a tropical world? I don't do cold weather. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council spectre aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. Oh, he wasn't impressed with that. We will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Maybe that's why they call him Joker. Because he's funny. Where were we? Hawking. Uh, there was. No, Argos Row. It's there. The Streno system. Is that not where we were? I think that's where we were. I don't think it matters now because I don't think we can go there, but. If we go back. Yeah, right there, look. I don't want to travel there now. It's a bit late for that, but. Do we want to travel there now? 
We were looking for the dude's brother in that system. What the hell's going on? There was nothing there. Um. Okay, cool. Only more materials. And a sorry writings. We got a lot of stuff to collect. Um. It was this one. Gareth fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while travelling through the Strenus system, which we've just been in, but didn't find any of, of that ship. So, let's let's do a quick save real quick, because if we can't find anything, I'd rather just fly back, we'll load it. But. Will it let us travel? Oh yeah, we, we just leave. They're like, hey, we're going to impound you if you're not who you say you are. And we're like, yeah, okay, bye. I'm out. Peace. The ship looks pretty cool. I wish you could customize it. That would have been cool. I want to put, like, flames down the side of it so we fly faster. Stuff like that, you know. Go faster stripes. So this is the Strenus system, which we've scanned everywhere. So unless there's something, like, floating in space somewhere... Which there doesn't seem to be. Whoa. <laughs> There's nothing here for us to... to find his brother. Yeah, dude, there's nothing there. Or whatever. We'll look into that later. Uh, first, let's just do Nivere. We're already there. Do we have to watch the cutscene again, or...? No, it's a different cutscene. I think we have issues here, if I remember right. Man, I'm like, camera's a bit... Okay. Uh, where's the exit? Just down here. We're not going to take uh, Garrus and Rex with us. It's really annoying me about this uh, privateers thing that. We did, but we didn't find anything. Maybe later on. Maybe we have to go back there later. Um, I mean, I like Tally too. She's pretty cool, but she has no combat strength and no biotic strength. At least these two have kind of got a mix. So we'll take Garrison Rex. I remember what she's good for. I'm not going to take the humans. They're boring. And I believe that's the Tarsoni or Tarsoni, the Matriarch's daughter, which we don't have yet. We can go get her, maybe after this. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Cool. Thanks. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo present. How do we, uh, there's a way of. Like showing the helmet. Sleep has the deck. I don't know how. Rally round. But there is a way of, of showing the helmet. Do do do. Is it inventory? No. No. Squad? Oh, there. So we have to go into the uh, the level up thing. We talk about the helmet. The dude does not look any cooler with a helmet on.
That's far enough. Can I help you? Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. Yeah, who are you? We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm with the council. I'm Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. I'm keeping my gun. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. She One, hasn't even got a gun at. Two. Three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Yeah. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Screw you. How you doing? Get out of here. Oh, I'm making friends. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. He's a cool-looking Toro. Don't their bodies look weird, though? It's got a big thigh gap. You know? Uh, do we got a map? We do got a map. Doesn't really do much, but we got a map. I am Gianna Parasini. How you doing? Assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. No, that's so good. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Why is so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. That does is sound this suspicious. privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? I heard there was Has anyone yes. unusual passed through here recently? See, this is what I mean. And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Being a Spectre comes with a lot of you can do what you want, you know. No one's going to stop a Spectre and then all of a sudden it's like, nah. Not until this guy says so. No, you can't do that here. You can't, you know. Where can I find so far, being a spectre sucks. His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay, goodbye. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. Okay. What is that? What is that picture supposed to be? Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected We're in the lift. for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Businesswoman. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. Me? Hey, this dude stands like those little, uh, you know, like the little worm guys, like Men in Black. Oh, it's a brain person. Merchant Opold. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Yeah. News travels fast here. This guy's gonna want something. Indeed, esteemed specter. 
Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. These guys are shady, man. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Let's investigate. What is it? I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain I don't know, man. Tell me or I won't help. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for or I walk out. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I mean... We are more renegade than Paragon at the minute. I uh, yeah, we'll do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. We gotta go back to the ship. I just came from there, this huh? One. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? What do you got? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Let's see if he's got a license. He does not have a license. He's got a Reaper too, which I believe is what we're using anyway. We don't really have a lot to... Uh... See, stuff like this, if it's only worth 25 to sell, surely that'd be better off as Omni-Gel for us. We can't use heavy armor, we could use 18,000, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I don't want to buy anything. Um, thank you, good night. Let's go straight back to the ship. Let's get the, uh... package that the dude has had delivered for us. He's been left outside the Normandy, so... Considering he wanted to be really sneaky and shady, he's just kind of left it in the in the landing bay. I wish these lifts were quicker. There's no music in this one either, you know, like... Duh, duh. Stood here with my alien buddies, waiting. Hi, how you doing? Good to stay, bye. Guards are still here. We're just going to walk past them with an illegal package. And it's for a bounty hunter, I mean. Uh. Yo, I've got a package for me. What's that? Opold's package. Okay. So now we just take it back to the brain dude. Don't have. I, I don't know what that is. There must be a sprint key. Key bindings. Sprint is spacebar. For some reason. There we go. Oh man, look how cool he looks. That is a cool guy's run. That that was it. We can run for five seconds. Dude's an elite fighting force. A spectre. Special ops. Can't run as far as Mario. Just like the dude's out of Call of Duty. Elite trained special forces can run for five seconds. That seemed quicker. Can we just keep the package? Can we see what's in it? It's not in our inventory, so. 
Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I could keep it. Or I could not. I'm just browsing right now. This what one. is the package? It's not an equipment. Um... It's a powerful experimental weapon mod. One awaits your return. I mean, is it worth keeping? It's very early in the game, so do we really care about some weapon mod or other? When chances are we'll just get a better one. I don't think so. Greetings, Spectre. I think we're just going to give him the package. the package. Yeah, there you go. Here you are. You watch this bit of the best mod in the game. We've just given it away. Service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. Whatever, brother. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of two hundred and fifty. I wonder if I can ask for more. Would be most appropriate. Oh, we could, if we had more points in uh, Renegade or Paragon. You cheap bastard. Yeah, whatever, man. That sounds reasonable. Then this There's no point in being shitty concluded. about it. It's our fault we is can't get more because we're not like badass enough or good enough, you know. Show me what you're selling. Of course. Um View upgrades. Oh, we leveled up. What was I going to do? Literally just a second ago. I've no idea. I'm on duty, Spectre. If the people in this place are not very friendly, up old shop, that's where we got to go. To the garage. I shouldn't be talking to you. Um, people here are really, really not very friendly. Although they did say, that, or it's been made clear by multiple people that we're just not welcome here. They're into some shady shit and they don't like someone being here that might expose that shit. How can I help you? Where is he? I'd like to speak to Where Analeas. is he? One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Okay. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix, they work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. I wonder Much why. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They <sighs> attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. I like her. She's polite. Oh, he's one of those dudes. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. Oh, you've read my file. I see you looked up my service record. <laughs> Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. 
Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Mm. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Oh. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard okay. an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Yeah, define personal escort. You mean What do you army. mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What sort of what cargo? What can you tell yeah. me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Okay. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Well, I guess that's the rest of the stream then. We're just going to sit here and talk to him. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Can I not just be a renegade and shoot my way through? What do we got? Anything worth stealing? Can we... Can you steal in this game? No. Apparently not. Apparently not. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. <laughs> All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Okay. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a past to leave. She's like whispering, you know, talk, talk to this guy. At the hotel and Shepard just goes, so I gotta talk to this guy. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Okay, so where's the hotel bar? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be up. Let's do our five second sprint. Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't know if that's coming through on stream either, but I can hear him like... <laughs> Dude, like, stop ordering takeout. Get in the gym. Because these other spectres are going to kick your ass. There he goes again. <laughs> What's through there? Oh, it's locked. We can't get through there. There's no one else. Seemingly, there's no one else to talk to. I am, I'm not saying this is going to be like a 100% playthrough. Because can you do that in one run? I doubt it. But um, we'll try and be pretty thorough with everything you know we'll try and talk to as many people as as we see or that seem like they have something interesting to say we'll try and do most quests and excuse me i need a moment of your time okay the male human at the hotel bar he's a sales rep for binary helix his name is Raphael vargas i need you to speak with him do you know who i am Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are like a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. Just to the point. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Okay. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? 
I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Okay. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. 500 credits. So would you. 500 credits. I mean, when top-end Spectre weapons cost like 300 plus thousand credits, 500 credits does not seem like you're being well compensated. We'll have a go. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. I mean, I think that's pretty cheap. But 500 credits device. is 500 you credits. You know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. It's be it's for the best. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Okay. I'll go see so him. So stay now. on target. Because if we start him. talking about like his his Sunday plans, he's gonna toss us off. But um, if he itches his neck. Keep going. You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Yeah, is that kind of Red Bull or some shit? Tuba Smarties? Lightsaber? What is that? I don't know. Can I help you? I'm a Spectre. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Inch firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. Okay. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. Maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Damn. We should have leveled up before. Uh... What about pain immunity? Is it possible to deaden pain somehow? Try to make the skin insensate, I suppose. Full body numbness, atrophy out all the nerve clusters, you'd still feel internal injuries. But that's dangerously close to genetic engineering, Shepard. The laws only allow improvement of natural functions. We can't add or move. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. There's his next for scratch. A quarter, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria. Some not entirely legal. Not everything I do is legal. a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals. Some days I defuse nukes. Some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I'm beginning to. Uh oh. Oh, we cocked no it. Knowledge of genetics, which makes it highly unlikely you were sent by the Citadel. Do we just come clean? Um. 
I mean, we're either going to come clean or push it. And my aim, to be honest, my only real concern is I want those credits. So, I mean, if we come clean, he's going to pay us the same amount of credits. I don't really care which way we go on this one. <laughs> so, uh, let's just come clean and see what he says. A level with you. I was hired to break into your network. An agent of the Aramali Council gave me this. A Kraken device. Full of viruses, I expect. Our IT people can isolate them, use them to feed the Asari false data. I'm disappointed in you, Commander. I thought your kind were above this sort of thing, if you'll excuse me. 